It's time for another round of the Great Day Live Fast Five, this time featuring a couple. We haven't done a married couple yet. We have Whitney and Ryan Shrink. How are the two of you? Uh, doing good. Doing well, thank you. Okay. How are you? We're doing really well. This is gonna be fun. So as you know, the rules are fast and honest. All right, mm -hmm. here we gotcha. go. Okay, question number one. And as we know, we are starting to, you know, emerge from our homes and all of that. But of course, we were all under stay at home orders, regardless of where you were. So what was what's been the best part about being quarantined together? Um, I'll, I'll go first. For me, it's I, I've had a lot more like with my job. I'm very, very, very busy and on the road all the time. So being home and around everybody more, I've had more time to spend with everybody um, day to day, which is kind of a nice thing for me. And I second that, um, no sports, no running around and we can just watch Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So then question number two, what has been, instead of saying the worst, I'm going to say the most challenging part about having to be quarantined together. I would say just with kid wise, um, the schooling, it makes it hard. So trying to work, balance school, work, family life, it's hard. So, yeah, so like together in terms of like me and her, um, I know this is gonna sound like corny, but like we haven't, like we've been good. Like we hang, like hanging out around each other and we're like friends. So um, we've enjoyed it. We haven't had any big, you know, dust ups or whatever. Mm -hmm. The kids, I said it in the first thing that was a positive being around everybody can also be a negative very quickly. <laughs> so like being around, you know, living in our house, sometimes five, six kids can get crazy and fights can break out anytime. Yeah. But that's nice to hear that the two of you, because I mean, when you truly are friends, I mean, I've heard people who say he chews too loud and then she sleeps too loud or, you know, these little getting in on each other's <laughs> nerve. So glad that that's not happening. Okay. Now that things are opening up and again, it's people are doing things safely, slowly. What's that one restaurant that you cannot wait to frequent? Hmm. I, to me, um, we we're big restaurant goers. So like we, that's our thing that we like to do on the weekends. Um, I want, so like when during, during this quarantine, having takeout and stuff is fine. But for me, having a, a really nice high end steak is not the same when you're getting it in a, you know, styrofoam container. So I would probably say a place like Jeff Ruby's or something, just getting a nice steak. Yeah, Jeff Ruby's or like Brooklyn and the Butcher. That would be my top. Yeah, there is something yeah, wanna... different to a, a steak served to you and a steak served to go in a styrofoam. <laughs> that's for sure. Not, or, not the same. You can only yeah. pick one, but what is that go-to tune that's on your playlist? Go-to tune. Okay, so I'm I'm a guy. I listen to thing. Um, I have, I'm all over the place right now. I've been listening to um, Luke James. You know, he's R&B. So uh, Luke James, Stay, the song Stay, I like. Um, I would say Whitney Houston. This, <laughs> <laughs> I know it's random, but that's one of my songs, and I like the old stuff, so. She also plays, like, the whole <laughs> Star is Born soundtrack. Oh, yeah, like, that too. Non-stop, so. Probably. It's been, it's been a little minute, so. Yeah. Over and over and over. I know how that goes, Whitney. I know how that goes. I put, up, put the record on and just let it keep going. Yeah. Okay, and then the last question, and this is one that we've really had a lot of fun with asking people because it offers inspiration or hope to other people, or it just affirms, you know what, it's not just me going through this. And so individually for each of you, what is one way, and you can interpret this in any way you want, one way that you've been able to make it work during this crazy, unexpected time that just put our lives to a complete halt? Mm -hmm. um, for me, like the one thing is, is just creating balance, you know, in my life. This has actually been good for me a little bit in terms of that. Um, 
you know, not being on the road and on the go 100% of the time. So creating balance and structure. And I think doing that with kids and, you know, with them being at home and stuff all the time, this whole time, uh, creating balance and structure is one way to, I think, help get through it smoothly. Mine would be staying active. Um, right now I'm pregnant, so I want to be lazy a lot of times, but <laughs> that's not good. So I think just like he's silence and being active, just make sure you're not being lazy, sitting on the couch all day, you know, watching movies. There's so work many out. positives. Yeah, work out and then follow it with Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we did. Hey, it's all about balance. Well, Whitney and Ryan, thank you so much. And also congratulations to the two of you. Appreciate you taking the time for sure. Thank, thank you. you. For those of you who would like to participate in the Great Day Live Fast Five, just drop us a line. Greatday at whs11.com.